This is a computer networks question based upon TCP. We have to consider a data transfer using TCP over a 1 Gbps link. The bandwidth is given to be 1 gigabits per second and the maximum segment lifetime MSL is given to be 60 seconds. We have to determine the minimum number of bits required for the sequence number field of this TCP header to prevent the sequence number space from wrapping around during this MSL will be how much. Now we know that in one MSL we need to have all the segments with unique sequence numbers. They cannot wrap around because we cannot have two segments with the same sequence number. So the minimum number of sequence numbers required for our segments are the number of them which are consumed during this MSL time. So this will give us the total number of sequence numbers which we will need and then based upon that we will calculate how much bits they will consume and we also know that in the TCP header this sequence number space field is limited so if we exceed this limit then we will have to place the remaining excess of the sequence number bits at other places let us see how much bits do we need in this case it is saying that the bandwidth is 1 gigabits per second which means in one second how much data are we generating 1 gigabits. Let us convert this into 10 power 9 upon 8 bytes. So in one second these many bytes of data we are dealing with and hence in the MSL time which is 60 seconds how much data will we have? It will be 60 by 8 into 10 power 9 bytes and this becomes 7.5 into 10 raised to 9 bytes. So in one MSL this is the data we are having in total this much is the data we have to deal with and hence now let us determine what is the number of bits we will be requiring to represent this much amount of data because each of these segments will consume one sequence number and we have to assume that this is the number of segments we are having each with one byte and hence we will be determining the number of bits that this particular amount of segments will consume. So for that what we will do is we will take log to the base to 7.5 into 10 raised to 9. This will give us we can simplify this a bit like we can take log of 75 plus we can have this will become 75 into 10 power 8. So we can take plus 8 and then upon log 2 when we convert that base from 2 to 10. Then when we evaluate this we get the result as something around 32.8 but this is not the number of bits we can have so we will have to take seal of this and hence that will give us 33. So we need 33 number of sequence number bits in order to accommodate all these segments during the MSL amount of time and if the sequence number field exceeds this limit then the leftover of them would be placed at different places. We have the field reserved for that as well but in this question we will be reporting the total number of bits which we are requiring not what is actually there the actual limitation. So the answer we will be reporting is 33 itself that is the correct answer.